Hi guys and welcome to Ask Tatiana. My name is Tatiana Ryshkova and today we will talk about right hand position. Making music we create sound and what create sound actually? Right, mostly right hand. So having an optimal position of the right hand will enable you to make music in the most easy and in the most beautiful way. Even if I will talk today mostly about position of the right hand for classical guitar, even though many of these things you can apply if you play acoustic guitar or electric guitar. So let's start. First thing we start is apple principle. When you take a right hand and put it on the strings, you imagine like you would keep an apple, so your fingers stay curved. If you don't like apple, you can take anything round, what you want. What we don't do is keeping our wrist extremely high or low in that or in that way. Why it's not so good? Uh, because keeping the wrist extremely high or low stretch the muscle um, and stretched muscles are not able to work in a proper way. So, in the worst case, that could lead even to injuries. Next step, keep it nature. We take our right hand, relax it, let it hang and observe how it looks when it's just hanging and doing nothing. Then you bow your arm and bring it to the guitar, keeping the same relaxed position. That is what I call by natural position. Uh, that brings many positive things, uh, so this position is almost as close as possible to relaxed position and your muscles can work absolutely properly um, at the piece. Of course, you may ask me, what about Segovia, for example, or what about another professional guitarist who don't do that and they keep their wrists and hands completely different. Of course, Segovia used to play with extremely curved hand and another colleagues do it also in their way. Actually, if you take a look at the hands, you will um, see that each guitarist does it in his or her own way and that, that is absolutely fine. What I do here, I share my personal experience based on many years of playing, on starting with playing with this Segovia position, having incredible injuries, being not able to play for many years, searching for solution, finding it, learning new sound. This is what stays in my background and this experience I share with you. So I would recommend you to base on the natural position like we did right now. What I don't recommend to curve or to stretch your wrist extremely, your hand. This is this curved position and that what I mean by stretched position when you put it to another direction. Let's continue. Plant your thumb. This is my personal life hack. If you have an opportunity, plant your thumb on any free string. Uh, that has many advantages for your right hand. First of all, you win on stability. Uh, the hand is more sure. Uh, you don't lose the general position and you don't need to look for that with the fingers. Uh, it could be a great topic, especially if you are a beginner and not an advanced player. Beside this, um, keeping your thumb on any free string allows you to produce a bit more tension in the fingers and to have more powerful sound also, because the fingers doesn't jump um, out from the strings. What I wouldn't recommend is to have extreme angles by using the thumb. Um, it means that we don't need to curve it extremely to the high, but also to stretch that in that way. Um, 
some of course we have all absolutely different fingers and the shape of our thumbs will be completely different if you have from the nature extremely curved thumb and actually it's it's like that in absolutely relaxed position it's fine i'm talking about um, the extreme curves that um, appear if you have too much tension but you don't uh, notice that and so our thumb starts to do some crazy things so just observe what is your thumb doing and try to find the most natural and relaxed position for it the weight of your shoulder should lay on the guitar another important thing when you put your arm on the guitar you need to find um, a point where you could completely transfer the weight of your shoulder on the instrument what is not good to do is to hold the weight of your shoulder with the muscles you can see it for example if um, you have extremely long arms and it's not very comfortable for you to put um, to put your elbow on the instrument so you need to keep it like that and very often that happens that uh, you don't relax your shoulder but you keep the whole weight of this part with the muscles um, check it it's quite a big difference by playing and of course, as more you have of these basic tens by just keeping the guitar, if everything should be held just by muscles, then your whole playing muscles will not be able to work in a proper way and that will be much more difficult, they will be more stiff, they will not be so flexible, they will not have such long endurance and many, many other things. And our last point keep neck and shoulder relaxed uh, that corresponds a bit with the previous one so we take a look by playing the guitar and sitting that our shoulders and neck are almost relaxed what we don't do you probably can already guess tense your neck and lift up your shoulder so any posi positions like that or that or even like that are not welcome they will not bring you lots of uh, flexibility freedom and easiness in the play i hope i could encourage you to check your position and especially the position of your right hand i'm looking forward to your comments please share your experience which hand position you prefer which experiences you had and if you like my videos, please support me on Patreon and don't forget to put like, to subscribe and to press the notification bell. Thank you so much for your attention and looking forward to seeing you next time.